I'm Leslie Nicholl and I played Beryl Patmore. I'm Sophie McShearer and I played Daisy Mason. Daisy. Daisy. Oh, Daisy. So, guys, Series 5 of Downton Abbey, are you glad to sit back? Yeah. yeah. I hope you are. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you miss it when you're not on the show, when you have that break in between? It's always very nice to come back to it yes. because it really is like walking in the room and seeing a lot of people that you know. Because uh, those those first days can be a bit daunting if you if you're not um, you know if you don't know the people because there's hundreds of people involved. Uh, so it's very nice. But I mean, going off, we we go off and do stuff elsewhere but we still see each other yeah we it's weird because we do actually get half the year off but it never feels like we've not seen each other for half the year so there's so much stuff to do we always end up coming together to do even just press and things like that but we always see each other don't we Mm. so what can you tell me about your main storylines in this series very little (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's true actually yes i suppose uh without blowing anything we have a bit of a um, a rocky time again because from my point of view um, there's a a dilemma because Daisy wants to increase her education or find an education so she has better prospects and that has an impact although Mrs Patmore wants her to have that it does have an impact on how much work she's doing in the kitchen causes problems yeah because Mrs Patmore is very much a traditionalist doesn't she does she want to keep Daisy in the same role necessarily she's the one who actually instigates the teacher I mean she does actually see that, that would be a very good thing yes. for her because she sees she's frustrated but doesn't think beyond it and beyond it could be that she would you know fly off and fly the nest and Mrs P would not like that so so is, is Daisy leaving us no no yeah. if, no but she what I'm saying is if oops, what I mean is if she uh, if she were to get educated it could be that her prospects would open up and she, she would be able to find other employment. So Mrs P doesn't think that far ahead. Yeah, she sort of makes a rod for her own back because she yeah. she tries to help her and then realises, if I help her too much, she's going to leave. And also, yeah. she's letting everything burn because yeah, she's, she's always reading. Her mind reading. is not on the job. Yeah. So everything's going wrong in the kitchen. A bit. A bit. Yeah. Daisy's not had a good time with her romance, her romantic life. Because look at her role model, Mrs. Patmore. <laughs> she can't keep a man. She had that boyfriend for what, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just a nightmare. And she hadn't had one before that for 30 odd years, <laughs> I don't think so. Neither of them know how to go on, do they? She's just finding her way, you know. <laughs> yeah. She's, I think Daisy's, Daisy's giving romance a little break. She just had such a roaring success <laughs> that now she's going to learn how to do maths for a bit yeah career girl for this series then yeah yeah she's a total career girl this yeah. year she's given up men because the world that we're in uh, there's a new Labour government things have changed and people are feeling there are opportunities there where they wouldn't have thought of it before so yeah. that does have an effect on her yeah because she's sort of one of the younger characters she sees this change well. <laughs> <laughs> apparently I'm probably not one of the oldest she thinks that there's She's maybe got a chance of doing something else if everything falls apart, more so than y- you lot are all thinking, what the hell am I going to do? Yeah. So they're sort of trying to help Daisy a little bit because they think, well, maybe she could do something else. Yeah. Lots and lots of drama this year. Where is more dramatic in the house, upstairs or downstairs? Ooh. It all goes into each other, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. They, they kind of have an effect on each other, really. I mean, whatever happens in the house... <laughs> there aren't very many secrets, are there? No. And there's a lot of, you know, gossip comes from upstairs to downstairs. And uh, no, there are dramas for all, for, for a lot of the characters. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about the Christmas episode this No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we can, except it'll be on Christmas Day while you're enjoying your turkey. Tell us more, give us swirls. Well, they filmed it in They went Annick. away to Annick. We didn't. We didn't get to go. But we hear that they had a lovely time. Beautiful place up there. Beautiful castle. Yeah. I think. Um, so we, we're not the best people to ask because we weren't there. We were, we were still at Ealing doing our bits. So, yeah, not sure. Well, actually, it was quite fun because you saw a little bit of what the house is like when the family aren't there. So when the cat's away, did the mice play? That's the sort yeah. of thing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if there's any other character you could be in Downton Abbey, who would you pick to swap roles with? Ooh. 
I always pick the dowager because she gets a really good line. Yes, you can't have her, she's nine. Mr. Carson. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Oh, do you know what? You get very fond of who you're playing, I think. And I, I wouldn't want to let mine go. I like mine. If you could tell us one thing about Series 5, what would it be to try and encourage people to watch? What's the standout storyline? Oh, there's always so many storylines because there's 900 yeah. people in it. Yeah, and there are really good new characters coming in. Yeah. I mean, really, people that you already know from other things. Brilliant actors. So, uh, yeah, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Just on that note, Sue Johnson, what would she like to work with? Well, there. Yeah. She's my friend. friend. And I've never worked with her. I've known her since before she did Brookside, which is a long time ago. That's 30 odd years ago. So I, I'm, I love her to pieces. Uh, I've never done anything with her before, and now I have. And uh, we have. And She's you love her, don't you? amazing. It was so. And I was a really huge fan, but she puts you at ease, and she's so lovely that she's been really good fun to work with. There's nothing fancy pants about Sue. Yeah. She's properly lovely woman, and uh, and we're thrilled to have her because she's she's so brilliant. Well, listen, we look forward to seeing Sue join, and we look forward yeah. to seeing both of you in, in series five. Yeah, it was lovely to meet you. Thank you.